Oh, <clears throat> oh, I already had to clear my throat. Good morning. <laughs> um, so today I want to talk about intuition and paranoia and kind of the difference between the two of them. I struggle a lot with paranoia. Um, and it's, I want to call it fear, but it's kind of beyond that. It's kind of like a circling, um, kind of attacking thing. And I know not all of us, um, you know, maybe it's just me and I'm sure you guys will let me know if you struggle the same or if yours looks a little bit different. But I used to think that the intuition that I've been gifted with and paranoia were really the same thing. Um, I thought that all this, uh, you know, like fearful, circling, um, threatening kind of thoughts were my intuition warning me of things, you know? And I've always kind of been mostly about people or what people could do. I've always kind of been a paranoid person, um, you know, very concerned over reactions, very concerned over other people's behavior, and specifically about people knowing me and finding me. <laughs> and some of that is valid, and some of it's just over the top, I guess. So first we'll talk about intuition, and in my limited knowledge, because I have not done a lot of cognitive research into what intuition is, so forgive me for not being well educated, but my understanding of intuition is when it speaks, you know, it kind of like brings things into your mind and tells you things. And it's a way of, I, I don't, I don't even know exactly how to explain it, but I'll just explain it. Generally, intuition speaks in a calm, quiet, soft manner. That doesn't mean that everything it has to say is nice. <laughs> and I don't mean like, uh, you know, that everything's destructive, but it will, you know, it does warn me about things that might happen, about certain people, about things that, you know, I've seen, you know, patterns and people's behavior and what, my brain then decided is going to be the result of that. Paranoia, on the other hand, speaks in fear, anxiety, panic, um, worst case scenario, run, 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 run. So I used to get the two confused. And when I am in a, when I am stressed, when I'm sad, hungry, cold, tired, because it's Tuesday, paranoia seems to kick in pretty hard. If I'm around a lot of people, there's more paranoia. And it usually is telling me a lot of things that would cause me to have a negative reaction, um, be afraid, be guarded, be fearful, panic, freak out, over-prepare, that kind of thing. And I kind of was comparing it in my mind when I was thinking about this video as intuition is kind of like the voice of the Holy Spirit, still small voice. Sometimes that voice tells you pleasant things. And sometimes that voice brings you correction and conviction, you know. And then <clears throat> the voice of paranoia is almost like the voice of the enemy or the stranger where it's like, you know, aggressive. It's like a call to action, but it's a call to freak out, you know, not to do things in a way that would be settled and understandable. So 
I wrote down some examples and these are really generic, like simple examples that I just jotted down. I'm sure I had some that were much more important, but this is what I came up with in the couple minutes that I did that. So I have six and we'll see if I get through them. So, and this was just, I, this is kind of a new thing to me, realizing that intuition and paranoia are separate things because I really, in my head, you know, they kind of like rotated together for the longest time. And have I acted on intuition before? Yeah. Have I shared intuition with somebody that wasn't going to receive it and did it backfire on me? Mm -hmm. um, has there been times where it was extremely beneficial and someone came back to me and said, thank you for telling me, thank you for warning me about that? Absolutely. <laughs> and on the flip side, have I acted out of my paranoia and um, had bad results? Yes. Have I almost ruined relationships or have I in fact thrown away people that would have been good for me because I let that paranoia speak to me and ran with it. Yep, both. So trying to have good discernment for myself and differentiate between what is my intuition, what is that still small voice, and what is paranoia, the voice of the enemy, fear, panic, hysteria, so I can make good decisions about people. Because most of this is focused around people, people that I'm close to, people that I meet, even people, you know, that try to contact me on social platforms. So, onto the list. I'm trying to make this short here. We're at six minutes already. Okay, so number one, this intuition says they aren't purposely leaving you out. They don't realize you want to participate. And paranoia then speaks to that and says they don't want you around. They are purposely leaving you out because they have found something wrong with you. You make them uncomfortable. You are only tolerated. They're only accepting you to arrive there because you signed up and they have to now tolerate you. But they would rather that you didn't come. And that's why they are leaving you out of said activity. The next one. Intuition says, bring extra clothes because you know how cold you get and you want to be prepared. Paranoia says, the car will break down and you will be stranded. And I do have this paranoia because I have had my car break down before and I've never been stranded because someone always comes along to help or now we have these lovely little cell phones that we can call people but paranoia says to me you know don't don't go um it doesn't just say like the weather might not be good so just bring some extra clothes just so that you're nice and warm and you're prepared it says the car is going to break down you're going to be stranded some crazy person's going to come along and abduct you or something like that <laughs> you realize the silliness of it but that has allowed me or kept me from going places because paranoia wants me to stay in my home and be afraid. Intuition says, check your tire's air pressure. Take good care of your car because it has to take you places. And paranoia says, just stay home because the tires will blow out and again you will be stranded. No one will come and help you because Nobody cares enough to make sure that joy is okay. That's paranoia. So that keeps me from going places. I actually have a fear every time I get in my vehicle and I'm going to leave the town I live in that my tires will blow out. And paranoia has kept me from going places. It's almost like the, you know, there's people that have a thing where they can't leave their homes. And paranoia speaks to me in a way sometimes that would keep me from leaving my home. And because my tires are going to blow out, I'm going to die in a fiery crash. And then what will happen to my family? That's paranoia. Where intuition says, keep your oil changed. Change your, check your tire pressure. Make sure you have things that you would need in your vehicle in case you got stranded. Bring your phone with you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 
this person, intuition says, this person has bad intentions. And I pick up on that pretty easily when I'm speaking with someone, especially in, per in person, or even in messages and things like that, depending on what, how they respond, um, the things that they say, the pattern that they use in their speech, you know, are they doing a lot of like, um, you know, a lot of affirmation, 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 and then something that makes me feel bad right after that and then you know I have some kind of reaction and then more affirmation 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 not that I can't have a real conversation with somebody but you know when I'm having that kind of conversation and I I recognize the patterns of you know kind of manipulation and trying to get me like hooked into some kind of bad relationship I recognize it especially if it's a person that wants to use up my em empathy or use my <clears throat> generous nature. So intuition says this person has bad intentions. Back yourself off a little bit or cut them out if it's been, you know, a certain amount of time. <sighs> and paranoia says, get the heck out of there immediately. This person is bad. They are stalking you. They are using you. They are sucking you dry. They all they want is bad for you. They don't want anything good for you. They're talking about you behind your back. They're laughing at you. On and on and on. There's more than that. Intuition says that friend is hiding something because I can see in their eyes. Um, I can see in their mannerism when we're speaking about something that they're not sharing everything and not everything has to be shared all the time and that's okay but you know intuition will tell me that person is hiding something from you it doesn't mean it's something bad they're just not ready to open up and that's fine but then paranoia says they are fake they have hacked into all your accounts <laughs> and they will expose all your secrets you know if I share something with another person and I realize that they're still hiding some things from me or just not um, sharing completely because they're not ready. My paranoia starts into, you need to research this person. You need to look them up. You need to make sure that they're not talking to this person and that person because they're just using you. They just want to, you know, suck the life out of you. And yeah. So then, and I have ruined relationships. I have caused conflict and I have ruined relationships going into that side of my paranoia because my intuition told me that this person was not sharing everything. And that isn't even fair because I don't share everything immediately with everyone. Why would I expect that of someone else? But my paranoia says, if they are not going to tell you everything about them immediately, then they're just using you. So run, 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 Joy, run. And this is the last one. Intuition says, guard your privacy. Not everyone is always what they appear. Not everyone is what they give you at face value, what they present to you, especially online. And this is, this is good advice for anybody. You know, um, whether you're on social media platforms or not, but especially if you're, you know, a content creator, a YouTuber, such as myself, you have to guard your privacy. You have to have a bit of, you know, an individual, you know, guarded place for yourself because people can take advantage of you. Not everyone is what they seem. You know, they can present a beautiful, lovely, loving person on social media. But in fact, they can be a predator, you know, they can be a dangerous person or they can be a very damaged, broken person that I would pick up in a minute because I love the damaged, broken people. But they might not be good. You know, they could be, it could be a time in your life where you're vulnerable and it's not a good time to take care of someone like that. So intuition says, you know, guard your privacy. Be selective. Make sure the people that you are sharing your heart and your life with are safe. Take it slow. And paranoia says, trust no one. If anyone finds out where you live, they will abuse you or take advantage of you. 
And yeah, trust no one um, is definitely a paranoia thing. Like, you know, there's times where I don't even want to, you know, it, it, I don't even want to trust the people that I have known for 20 or 30 years. Because there's always this fear, anxiety, and kind of despair that no one is going to ever take me for who I am, love me for who I am without sucking the life out of me. So, so that was a lot and we're getting pretty long here, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about the difference between intuition and paranoia and what it sounds like in my head and how I've recently discovered they are not the same thing and it's better to listen to the intuition and take it for what it is rather than letting that paranoia run my life. So let me know, guys, is this something you struggle with? Is it just this, <laughs> as my friend Gwen calls me, is it just this prairie princess <laughs> that struggles this way? And I'm sure I had better examples, but like I said, I, that was just my quick jot down. So I appreciate you guys. I'm so happy to be back and uh, once again, live and love out of the way you were created.